Here comes the Viper. The most lethal superstar in WWE history. The following is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. You know, Randy Orton watched his father in the very first WrestleMania main event, and then he went on to main event multiple WrestleManias of his own. Now, this is a stage where he's faced the likes of The Undertaker, Triple H, and John Cena. We have seen Randy Orton go from being known as a legend killer to a legend. And we know Orton only needs three letters to create the ultimate WrestleMania moment. R-K-O. Well, Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper schemes stay down for good. Writes his own story in Venom. Randy Orton can't be controlled. The best in the world. CM Punk has done it all at WrestleMania. Won Money in the Bank, defended the WWE title, faced The Undertaker. But CM Punk wants one more bullet point on his WrestleMania resume. Compete in the main event and win. Punk possesses a lethal combination of fighting styles, and he's going to need it tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it. Punk is always ready for a fight, and he proclaims he is the measuring stick until someone proves him otherwise. Posty is ready to show how he gets down. Weighing in at 190 pounds, the 24 7 champion, Post Malone. Post Malone can blend music styles as well as fighting, and definitely a master on the microphone. Well, Post needs to defy his hilariously low overall rating and have the performance of his career. Covered in ink, but ready to. To the opposition tonight. Look, I respect Post Malone's desire and passion, but it's going to be tough for old Posty to leave here with the W. Oh, no. Here we go again. Oh, yes. Pat McAfee is here. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 200. 
133 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Pat McAfee. Once again, a sold out WrestleMania crowd can witness firsthand just how obnoxious this man is. Going to thrive off the energy of the grandest stage of it all and create another lasting moment. Hey, let's not forget he's already defeated Austin Theory at WrestleMania. And I see another big win for Pat McAfee right here tonight. Here we go as we kick off this huge fatal four-way match. Set for this match, we have Randy Orton. Shoulders down, this could be it. Now Orton. No, he kicks out. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Showing off the quickness, that'll turn things around in a hurry. Inverted DDT. Lights out. Oh, Red right in there. Watch the quickness on this. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show up. High red district for Pat. The Viper escapes hard. A sequence of reversals here on the top. Ooh, picked off. Oh, backbreaker. He is doing whatever possible to torture the knee. Well, that's one way to seize control of the match. Change the location to the ringside area. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Danger is constantly lurking in a no disqualification match. Interference has to be a concern for these superstars. While it certainly can be a factor, I don't think it should be a concern. The only thing you should be concerned about is getting a win. No, a kendo stick wrapped around the head. The audacity! That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Oh, look at that scope slam! He's absorbed some damage already. Punk. And a kick out before. 
before the count even begins. Going to take a lot more than that to keep this man down. And well-timed maneuver there. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. And Malone able to reverse that. Toss. Oh, neat shoulders down. And he breaks the pin. Oh, float over Russian leg sweep. Hooked up. From the second row. Now we have McAfee. Well, Lord, Lord will stand that. Randy Orton. And ooh, nasty backbreaker. Oh, and a stop. Just despicable menacing. From way out, this could be it. Cover for the win. Oh, what height. Oh, the referee caught in the crossfire. Oh, no, this could be really bad. German suplex, but that's not all. Into a report lariat, what a cover! But hoisting up his opponent, looking to finish him here! Go to sleep! Isn't it enough? Isn't it enough? For the win! Two! Kick out! I thought it was finished off for sure. I can't believe that this whole arena is in shock! Yeah, but no one's more shocked than the man who thought he had a pinfall. And Pope might have just swung for the fences, but it wasn't good enough. The WWE Universe can't believe what these Warriors are doing to one another. Everyone's fired up. What a battle. The muscle memory's got to be taken over now. Pure instinct to kick out before three. Oh no, lining it up. And he has to start 
protecting the punch. That could end Orton now. Is it enough? The cover. Two. And a kick out. No one saw that coming. Orton can't be happy. It was almost down for the count. And we all know what happens when the Viper's not happy. That was a golden opportunity to end things. Now he's got to hope the opportunity presents itself again. Big yeah. four. To the neck, neck breaker, and more hits up there can leave you dazed. Beautiful neck breaker after the float over. That was pretty. And there's CM Punk finding the energy to keep attacking. You can't deny the fighting spirit Punk has been showing tonight. And met with a right hand. Kicks directly to the chest. Special from each of these men tonight. I thought all four of them had a shot at winning this match.